The first term of a geometric series is A. The fourth and fifth terms of the series are 12 and minus 8 respectively. Part A, find the, uh, find the value of the common ratio of the series. So if 12 is the fourth term, we would multiply that by R to get the fifth term. So 12 times R would be equal to minus 8. Divide both sides by 12. So R is minus 2 thirds. Part B, we need to show that A is minus 40 and a half. So my first term is A. My second term would be A times R. My third term would be A times R squared. The fourth term would be A times R cubed. And we know that's equal to 12. So let's make that equal to 12. And I know that R is minus 2 thirds. So let's substitute that in. Now we'll have um, minus 2 thirds cubed. So that's going to be minus 8 over 27. If we now divide both sides by the 8, Uh, times by 27. Which gives uh, 40.5. Or 40 and 1 half. And times both sides by minus 1. Obviously different ways you can rearrange it. That I don't think I rearranged that in a particularly efficient way. But hopefully you got the point of uh, how, to, uh, how to show that A is minus 40.5. And then point, uh, part C, find the sum to infinity of this series. The sum to infinity formula, which you are given in the formula booklet, is A divided by 1 minus R, as long as R is less than 1, which it is. We saw that it's minus 2 thirds. So that is between minus 1 and 1. So the sum to infinity does exist. All we need to do is substitute A, our first term, which is the minus 40.5, divided by 1 minus the common ratio, which was minus 2 thirds. And if we did put that into our calculator, we find that the sum to infinity is minus 24.3.